Hi Church, I'm Jennifer Alessio and I serve as a children's pastor here at Heights Church. Our thread for the Summit Up series is steadfast, what the Spirit of the Lord speaks to the faithful. In the book of Colossians, the Apostle Paul writes this entire book to encourage the church at Colossae to remain faithful. And these promises that he describes in this book are for us as well. They are truths that we can choose every day to walk out in our lives as we are listening to the leading of the Holy Spirit. And one of those promises that we are going to be talking about today is love. Now, this is what the Apostle Paul writes to the church at Colossae and to us about love in verse in chapter 1, verses 3 through 4 and verse 8. We always pray for you and we give thanks to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and your love for all of God's people. And verse 8 tells us, He has told us about the love for others that the Holy Spirit has given you. Now, love is not a feeling. It is a choice. It's an intentional choice to choose to do what is best for the other person and to treat others the way we want to be treated. And I thought I would read for us about love from 1 Corinthians 13, 4, because they're just such great reminders. And the first is, love is patient and kind. Does anybody need to hear that today? I do. I have to remind myself of that all the time. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud. It does not demand its own way. Another one I need a reminder of. It is not irritable and it keeps no record of being wronged. Yet again, I needed to hear that. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up. Love never loses faith. It is always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. I don't know about you, but I don't always feel loving. Recently, I found myself in my chair time honestly complaining to the Lord. I was feeling burdened. I was feeling stressed out. And I was feeling hurt because I was focusing on how others were treating me. And honestly, I was focusing on myself and I felt a distance between myself and the Lord, and the Lord was silent. And so I asked the Lord, I said, God, what is your perspective? And he said, Jennifer, I need you to put away childish things. And I thought, oh, you're right. None of these things are important. They're not important. And then he said something really, really helpful. He said, I want you to focus on loving others. And in that moment, he helped me realign my tires. He reminded me that I needed to forgive, that I needed to let go, and that I needed to focus on others. That's what I'm here to do. The Christian walk is not all about ourselves. It's about serving others. And that's what Jesus modeled for us. And so that's what I chose to do. Now, I have to admit, it was not always easy. I still didn't feel like it, to be quite frank. But in those moments when I saw myself not wanting to put the person in front of me before myself, the Holy Spirit would remind me, be a good listener. Listen, encourage, do for that person what you would want done for you. And I did. I didn't feel like it, but I did it. And that's what love is. It's a choice. It's not about feeling. It's not about feeling like doing something for someone else. It's choosing to do it. I don't know about you, but I'm grateful for that because I don't always feel like it. And then the most awesome thing happened to me. The Holy Spirit changed my heart, changed my ears and the way I was looking at situations. And I found myself being in tune with the hearts of others. And I was able to discern where people were at and so that I could encourage them. And I felt the Holy Spirit speaking through me and using me. And I was at peace. And there's nothing better than knowing that the Lord is able to use you to encourage another person. And that's what love is all about. So friends, I have a challenge for you today. And the first is this. Who can you choose to love today? And my second challenge is this. What do you need to let go of to choose love? Because sometimes it's something we're holding on to that is keeping us back from the best that God has in our lives. Okay, friends, thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.